problem that seems to be a real issue for clerks and RFOs is a lack of time. Um, as many customers I speak to, fits in being a clerk around a proper job, as they call it. There seems to be increasing pressure on time and many are working more hours than they're contracted to. So this isn't only due to completing the accounts, but all the other tasks within the role um, that still have to be done. And this year has produced a lot of additional challenges and um, with COVID from juggling new guidance, risk assessments, and for many, the dreaded homeschooling, which we've all been through here at Scribe and would all agree was not a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, Hannah, what advice would you give for managing time? Yeah, so as James identified, lack of time can often be a real issue, but actually so can lack of experience. Because the role of clerk has so many different elements, there's so many aspects to the role, uh, sometimes finance and the account side of it may not be the part in which the clerk feels most comfortable. You may simply not be a numbers person, that's not your happy place. That can often be exacerbated by being the only employee of the council, so you may feel like you're going it somewhat alone. In this case, I'd recommend setting aside time regularly to keep your cash book up to date. It's a bit counterintuitive talking about having lack of time, but actually doing little and often just to keep on top of it, keep it running along nicely, um, stops that overwhelming mountain of work to then, to then plough through as well. Also, it's really important to have an appropriate cash book system that records all elements of the transactions that you will then need to analyse your data and easily produce your reports so that you're not having to go back to look things up to find out the information that you then need. It's also really important to try and complete regular bank reconciliations. We'd recommend at least on a monthly basis so that if you do get a reconciliation error difference, that you can then find it with only a month's worth of data to look back through rather than lots and lots of information to then to search through. With regards to lack of experience and confidence in the accounts, I would say this will improve over time, particularly if you're a new clerk in the role, whether you're using a new cash book system that you've got to get used to, or generally just understanding the role of clerk and RFO and completing the year end. Obviously, that will come with time. It will get easier. Again, taking some time to fully understand not only your cash book system, but also the reports that you're required to produce, not only for your council meetings, but also at year end will really help. You could consider formal training in this area, but I wouldn't say that it's necessary. It's not imperative, particularly for those smaller councils that are working on receipts and payments. In all honesty, a lot of the accounts work is actually about accurate record keeping and understanding what information you need to provide and when. It may be helpful, though, to look at linking up with other clerks that you can then ask advice and check things with. Yeah, so I, I think we've already kind of touched on the whole sort of thing around the feeling of being quite isolated. And I think we've had a little bit of a taste of that for the first time, really, because from my own personal experience with the last six months and being at home, I've really took for granted being able just to turn around and to ask Jane or Hannah a question about what I'm doing or what I should be doing, perhaps. Um, I know for lots of clerks and RFOs, and RFOs that working from home isn't a new thing. And for actually a lot of you, it'll be something that you're quite used to. Um, and that's why I'd say that when it comes to Scribe, and we keep kind of drumming home this thing about the support, but it's knowing that you've got somebody on the end of the phone. You've got one of us that you can give us a call, you know, you can speak to and you can be advised professionally and confidently. You know, like Jane says she doesn't like that, we'll put you on to Hannah. Hannah knows, you know, knows everything about that. If it's a quick access to report, then, you know, I might be able to help you in that instance. Um, but more often than not, it comes down to things like bank reconciliations. And, and that's where we'll come in. You know, if you've had 11 pence that's kept you up last night because you're worrying about it and you can't find it, Sometimes it's just a fresh pair of eyes, and I know the web-based setup really helps with that because we can log in, we can take a look for you, and by all means, you know, pop your bank statement over and we'll do what we can. Um, so it sounds really, really cheesy, but I think that's something that us three really do have in common, um, and it's that we get a sense of satisfaction from talking to you guys. We like working with people, we like helping you all, and it's really satisfying to go home knowing that you've given somebody the right piece of advice, and it's meant that they no longer feel worried or stressed about something that is quite easy to resolve when there's not just you on your own. So, uh, I agree with that. I um, I know we all do. We all, we all enjoy really solving problems, and it's definitely one of the most satisfying parts of the job. 